Now, I've been in politics long enough to know that a lot of people are going to be arguing that turning a Game Boy Advance SP into cardboard, although it'll look cool, kind of lacks all purpose and function. I actually did some research on this and it turns out in like racing, if you take the shell of a vehicle and you create it out of a lighter material, it actually makes it faster. I could be getting more frames out of my Mario Kart gameplay here. There we go. It's actually pretty simple on the inside. Like I, I don't think this will be terribly difficult to do. Some of you uh, meanies out there might notice I'm using my electric screwdriver by physically turning and twisting it with my own muscles. It's not broken, I swear. I just like exercise, putting my back into it. Oh, I bet they're doing that stupid thing they do where there's like hidden screws under here. They tend to do that. Ever since I made Sprigatito before Nintendo could, they've been designing their consoles to have really stupid little hidden screws. Sorry, I lost my temper. Oh, there's another screw here. Explains a lot. Stupid! Sorry about the anger. I haven't had my coffee yet. That's juice. I will never have my coffee. I'm gonna be angry through this whole video. Deal with it. And don't worry, I'm gonna make good use of this valuable case because it will hold all the buttons. Isn't that cute? Isn't that cute how I'm making it feel helpful? And we're gonna carve out the first bit of the shell that we will work off of. And the reason we're using a knife instead of a pair of scissors is because I'm what they call like a rebel. Kind of a bad boy, to be honest. Kind of bad though, like at crafts. Awesome. <laughs> I'm exaggerating. I just want some attention. I want to trace these buttons so I can cut out the holes, but as you can see, I can't put this flat against the cardboard to do it correctly. Now here's a neat little trick that my daughter taught me back in the day. Put it against a different piece. Do something like that. It's not perfect, but it's good enough. And then break out your circular stampers that you have lying around as you do. Kind of line it up and just smack your finger like twice with it instead of what you're trying to hit. All right, so that doesn't work very well. Hmm. Okay, you know what? This is stupid. Just, 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 just eyeball it. All right, this calls for some delicate touch. I think that's perfectly fine. Also, I'm doing this backwards. All right, so we're back to where we were. And we gotta poke some holes for the speakers. There we go. See, that looks factory right there. So the speaker on this thing has to be mounted like this. So we're just gonna hot glue it in place. There's really no reason not to do that. Don't try this at home. Go to grandma's house and try it. Make sure you're using non-conductive hot glue for this too. It's kind of an important little fact that they don't tell you about. We're trying to use a very delicate amount of hot glue for this project. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if this is stronger than the plastic one. Oh, Peter. You're just loaded with junk. Wow, I certainly didn't make this long enough. Eh, I finna kinda don't really care. Yeah, that's not too bad right there. We need to cut out a slot here for whatever it was these things did many, many years ago. All right, honestly, Fitment is pretty solid. To make your own contact button points, flatten down a piece of cardboard, and then just do it yourself. So we've made this thing. Focus. Calm your eyes. I'm not even talking to the camera, I'm talking to you. Look at this, I made this. All right, you know what, forget about it. Goes in here. That's about what it is right there. Well, we're gonna do what I normally do with my videos and I'm just gonna kind of recklessly keep going about doing the same exact method and just kind of hope it works once it's done.
right. There's the buttons. I don't know, maybe they'll work. I got the shoulder buttons too. They're a little loose until we put the board in. And in order to put the board in, I'm gonna throw it across the room like a Neanderthal. All right. The screen bit I don't think should be that hard. Then again, I just don't generally think. Not too bad. You might have noticed the camera angle's a little better than usual. Maybe a little more of a tighter zoom, maybe a little better focus. I'll have to see in post how good it really looks, but I want to give a big shout out to uh, me, me myself, for just generally doing a really good job with the cameras today. Hopefully. Pretty solid. Now, how does one, you might ask, if you're an observant and curious fellow, how does one make a hinge out of cardboard akin to that on the SP? Oh, you're just looking for more video spoilers. You don't want to have to keep watching. I'm quite frankly, very disappointed. I'm just shaking because I'm nervous as is all. <sighs> I'm always just a little bit nervous around you. I don't know if it's a good thing. Like it could be like a crush, but then it could also be like, you're maybe gonna murder me and it's like my instincts kicking in. I don't know. Everyone in the video watching the video, not in the video, but everybody watching the video is just right now, they're like, man, what are you doing though? What is, what it, what is he doing? I can't, I can't wait to see. I can just hear, I can just hear everyone cheering. Show us, show us, show us. I'm going, I'm going guys, just wait. Now this is where shish kebab sticks come into play. I've got a little screen that folds up. Pretty simple stuff. I know some people are gonna say that a wooden dowel isn't cardboard, but you'd be wrong. Cardboard and wood are both made from trees. I recently found that out, and the fact that you didn't know that probably says a lot about your stupid. Feed this dude through here. This is where it gets delicate and difficult to assemble for sure. Okay, hinge actually seems to work fairly well. It's fairly sturdy, still drying a little bit. Gotta put it back on this. I'm just gonna kinda casually pretend that everyone watching isn't going. <gasps> I mean, no, don't get me wrong, I'm excited too. I'm just like, I'm just like used to this stuff kinda working out like this at this point. Like, it's not a big deal for me. It's pretty flipping solid right there, eh? Oh, I tell ya, hey. Not bad, not too bad. Mmm. I'm out of urine looking fluid. You know what that means? We're getting close here, boys. Cut our cartridge slot here. Now I think this metal piece actually has to have a contact point with this. I could have done more research into this. That is the end of my sentence. Gluing a battery seems kind of smart, to be honest. There's Game Boy. I'm, I'm surprised I've gotten this far. All right, you guys know what time it is, right? Time to decorate it. This is way more important than knowing if this thing actually works. You know what? This just looks stupid. I should have done it when I put the, when I made this to begin with before I put the buttons on. And so therefore I'm just going to leave it completely cardboard. If it turns on and this screen lights up and it makes Game Boy sounds, you're gonna see such a ecstatic look on my face. I'm not gonna lie. I don't, I don't think this is gonna work correctly. It's made of cardboard. Uh, yeah, it's just, man, I just don't know if it's gonna work for sure. I guess we'll just have to, I hope you guys are just livid right now that I, that I won't just flip the switch. <laughs> eh, that's actually great. Okay, will it run a game? All right, I found my container of old games and Pokemon cards and LeapFrog. 
And this really snazzy looking Game Boy with, with the nuclear explosion. It's a very specific era this came out in. Pretty nice. Anywho, uh, I do have this Game Boy Advance game, 9996666 and 1. I really don't think this one works correctly. I guarantee it won't. All right, I've only got two Game Boy Advance games. We got Tony Hawk and Mega Man Zero Z3. And this game is a load of junk, so we're playing some Tony Hawk. I don't think there should be a big issue. Tony Hawk's freaking underground! Sorry, I didn't mean to get way too excited. That's what me and my friends used to say every time Tony Hawk's uh, flipping underground would start back in the day. Wait, the buttons work? Who made this? <laughs> Pause has a little bit of a problem, but the D-pad works. B button works. Physics of Tony Hawk's underground on the Game Boy Advance work. Shoulder buttons work? Cardboard Game Boy work? That is ridiculous, dude. If I would have told my mom that I would someday play Tony Hawk's Underground on the Game Boy Advance made out of cardboard, she would have told me I've I've never even heard of that bird before. And now this guy is added to my cardboard collection with uh, skateboarding Sonic and whoever the heck this guy is. So that's that, and honestly, the, the point of this video wasn't wasn't even just to make this, because I mean, it looks cool, right? Like, it's it's kind of neat, but there was more of like a, there's, there's a message behind this video. There's a little bit more of a broad, overarching story to it as well, and kind of a moral I want to throw in with this, and that's... So everyone praises Nintendo for, for their games and their consoles. Of course, they have their problems, right? Stuff in the, the social industry, perhaps uh, some of their copyright practices. You know, all these things may be fair criticisms, uh, but, but everyone loves the consoles and the games, right? Most of them anyway. But I, really, the whole point of this, I just want to kind of prove Nintendo's really not, not really all that. I mean, with a little bit of cardboard, and like two and a half hours of recording time, you can pretty much do the exact same thing that they did. Just kind of want to throw that out there. Not even to like tear Nintendo down, but to kind of build you guys up. Like you can do stuff. You can do this. That's hokey actually. No, you can't do that. Only I can. The point of the video is I'm just really cool. All right, see ya.